Fact 36 now. Anorexia, bulimia, binge eating, and other eating disorders were treated at an alarming rate during the U.S. Uh, around the U.S. during the pandemic. Yeah, that's according to a study published this month by the Journal of the American Medical Association. So take a look at your screen here. 14 pediatric and children's hospitals with treatment programs were analyzed for this study, and those 14 hospitals admitted the 81 teens and young adults for inpatient eating disorder treatments in January of 2018. There were 109 admissions in February of 2020, 163 in December of uh, 2020, and then uh, that jumped to 208 in April of 2021, and averaged 181 a month for the rest of the year. This morning, Dan Travis is taking a look at the issue here in our area. Danny, what'd you find? Yeah, man, Sam, there are any number of reasons a person might develop an eating disorder, but one thing seems clear. The pandemic made those problems worse. Dr. Elsie Alm says the amount of people seeking help for eating disorders doubled between 2020 and 2021 at the two Palm Beach County hospitals where she works. She says there's a fundamental correlation between stress and eating disorders. This pandemic was a situation that caused uh, so much anxiety. There's um, eating disorders have been associated with um, coping, maladaptive coping to negative emotions. And so some people were feeling out of control. Some people had easy access to being um, in a confined environment. And so this is, um, and many other triggers uh, clearly can trigger uh, eating disorders. Dr. Alm says, like the JAMA study, it's a trend she saw more associated in late teens to young adults, along with the notable increase in female anorexia cases. Uh, and that's different from hospitalizations because sadly, over half of the people that have symptoms of eating disorders don't seek help. Don't seek help either because they don't recognize it or because they don't know where to go. Um says even though we're out of the pandemic, eating disorders still impacts a lot of people who need medical help. If you or a loved one is struggling with this, check our website, cbs12news.com, for resources and contact information for experts who can make a difference. Matt Sam, back to you.